Hi friends, this is a quick tour about my hydroponic systems, their setup and what am I currently growing. To begin with, I have a 42 day tomato, the variety itself 42 day. I have two plants in this Aero Garden Bounty Basic. These are two months old. I see lots of tomatoes. This variety produces tomatoes bigger than cherry tomatoes. They're kind of mega cherry tomatoes. Then I have a five months old Siberian dwarf kale in spider former hydroponic system. Then I have a tiny team tomato plants in Aero Garden Harvest. Then two more tiny team tomato plants. I started these plants with cuttings and they're growing in spider former hydroponic system. I have this IDO 8 pod hydroponic system recently cleaned up and ready for another crop. I am just deciding what to grow here. Then another 42 day tomato variety growing in Aero Garden Bounty Elite. I am going to do some side by side comparison. That's why I am growing this 42 day variety in both Bounty Elite as well as in Bounty Basic. Then I have red wine sorrel in Aero Garden Harvest. Then two more tiny team tomato plants in Aero Garden Harvest. Then I have this Mars Hydro hydroponic system. I recently cleaned up this garden and set it ready for next years. I'm thinking what goes into this next. Then I have turnips in Aero Garden Harvest XL. Then I have this Lead Pot Max 21 pot hydroponic system. I'm currently growing eggplants and a few tiny team tomatoes. I started these from cuttings and it is two months old. Pretty much all the tomatoes from the first crop are ready. They ripened very well. This eggplant was doing really good but it got infested with spider mites and the plant gave up. It has two beautiful eggplants but unfortunately this plant is gone. Then I have early gold tomatoes. I see a few tomatoes growing nice. Then I have petunias in this lead pot mini. This is the smallest hydroponic system. Looks cute and it looks even cute with these beautiful flowers. Then I have a red romaine lettuce growing in Aero Garden Harvest. Then I have a few contender bush beans growing in Aero Garden Harvest. Actually I have this plant in two Aero Garden Harvests. I started with one garden and split the plants into two gardens. Then I have a hope garden with cilantro. And I have aero garden sprout. I had super red roman plants. They are done. I am just lazy to clean this garden and start with a new one. But I am going to start it soon. Then I have a shishito peppers in Mafka 12 pod hydroponic system. These plants are very productive. They produced lots of peppers. Now they are ready with second crop. Then I have cilantro in Aero Garden Harvest. I had perpetual spinach in this Aero Garden Bounty Basic. I recently decided to change the plants. So I cut the plants to the base. Then I have lead pot 12 pot hydroponic system and uh, amaranth is growing in this garden. Then Aero Garden Harvester Slim with Genovese basil and Thai basil. Then I have these beautiful petunias growing in this Aero Garden Harvest. I always keep one garden with petunias. The petunias always come really good and they are a great addition to my hydroponic setup. Then I have two more tiny team tomato plants in Aero Garden Harvest. Then some chives. These are garlic chives growing in this Aero Garden Harvest. And I have few insect traps. I always see some flies, mosquitoes, bees around these gardens. So these insect traps are helping me to a bit. I have all these gardens set up in this adjustable wire shelving system. I can adjust these shelves wherever I want to. You can see it for bounty. I put it little high and for harvest. I kept it about 15 to 18 inches height and of course the gardens growing in the top doesn't matter. Same thing here. All these hydroponic systems are set up using adjustable 
wire shelving systems. I don't touch it all the time, but whenever I have to, I will adjust it according to hydroponic system and what I'm growing in it. I have a separate video about shelving unit and you can find the link in the description. Here is one more insect trap. Most of these hydroponic systems are connected to a surge protector. This is called a tower surge protector. It has 8 power outlets and 4 USB ports. LED port mini is directly connected to this USB port. I found this tower extension very useful as I don't see the plugs are blocked from each other. I can use all 8 outlets comfortably. Alright, that is a quick tour of my hydroponic systems.